It's game over for Tesla and other major EV manufacturers, as Toyota just revealed their completely new cutting-edge battery type that will allow Toyota's EVs to dominate the entire EV industry. What is this new battery, and what are the numerous benefits of using it? Join us and get ready for a tectonic change in the EV industry, as Toyota's incredible new battery admits no competition. Let's face it, Toyota has been way too late to the EV industry. Their first EV, the Toyota BZ4X, was revealed only last year and was hardly revolutionary. It was cool, yes, but you would be hard-pressed to see EV enthusiasts thriving to own one, especially next to the Mustang Mach-E and the Tesla Model Y. Honestly, we were puzzled by Toyota's decision not to enter the EV segment for such an extensive period, as we all know how popular Toyotas are. The BZ4X, while interesting, was also a confusing choice, as we personally think that Toyota's halo car for the EV segment should have been much more affordable. But what do you think? Did Toyota make a mistake with the BZ4X, or do you think it was a good choice for a first-timer? Toyota's CEO, Akio Toyota, decided to step down from his position a couple of months ago, as he believed he was not the right person to revolutionize Toyota as a brand. While we are sad that the man responsible for the majority of Toyota's success in the past two decades is leaving, we are thrilled to announce that his replacement, Koji Sato, decided to completely refresh the brand. Sato announced that the company will focus on developing EVs apart from regular cars and hybrids. Koji Sato, who was the president of Toyota's Lexus brand, is responsible for some of the biggest hits that the brand has had, the most notable of which is by far the famed Lexus LFA. More recently, he was also responsible for Lexus's own EV, the Lexus RZ, which offers an incredibly revolutionary steer-by-wire system that was never seen before on vehicles. He recently announced that Toyota's vehicles of the future will have numerous unseen features and changes that will make them completely stand out from the crowd, and most of them will allow Toyota to eliminate the penalties their late entry into the EV segment brought them. These changes include a significant reduction of aerodynamic drag and a complete change of production methods, allowing the company to fully and flawlessly transition into the era of electric vehicles. However, by far the most notable and most revolutionary change will be the aforementioned new battery type that will allow Toyota's models to offer much higher levels of performance while also being even more practical for daily use. What is this new battery actually? Well, that's the catch. Toyota announced that they developed two different battery types. The first one, which will see widespread adoption imminently, is an evolution of the currently utilized lithium nickel cobalt manganese or NCM batteries. They will offer a larger range and considerably lower production costs. These batteries were originally a direct replacement for the lithium iron phosphate, or LFP battery chemistry, which had numerous flaws and issues, including lower range and longer charging times. We are glad to hear that Toyota will continue the development of NCM batteries. However, you would be delighted to hear that Toyota has another ace up its sleeve, and that ace is actually the creme de la creme of Toyota's battery technology. We're talking about the most advanced battery type currently on the market solid-state batteries. So let's talk about the differences between lithium-ion lithium polymer and solid-state batteries. Solid-state batteries use solid electrodes and electrolytes compared to the liquid or polymer gel electrolytes found in lithium-ion and lithium polymer batteries. This allows solid-state batteries to be considerably smaller than their lithium-ion counterparts. Materials proposed for use as solid electrolytes in solid-state batteries include ceramics and solid polymers. Until now, solid-state batteries have been considered inefficient and not suited for use in regular vehicles, as there was virtually no way to effectively charge these batteries. But with Toyota's continuous efforts, the charging capabilities of solid-state batteries have improved significantly, and we're about to start seeing them in EVs in the very near future. Toyota projects that most of its EV fleet will be equipped with solid-state batteries by 2026 or 2027, which is fantastic. However, we still need to address the question behind Toyota's insistence on developing this battery type. So the question remains, what are the benefits of using solid-state batteries? Speaking of charging times, Toyota also announced that they will significantly lower them. The current charging time for the BZ4X to reach full capacity is only 30 minutes. However, both generations of the solid-state batteries will take up to three times less time to charge to their full capacities. This essentially means that to charge a BZ4X for 300 miles, you would need less than three minutes. Isn't that something? 
However, as impressive as all this sounds, there are a couple of caveats that need to be addressed. First of all, Toyota has already made claims that were equally as bold as this one, and well, they have yet to deliver on some of them. In fact, did you know that Toyota already announced its solid-state battery, and they haven't done it just once? They have been teasing us for the past decade with them. Look it up. There are numerous headlines that announce the appearance of solid-state batteries, some of which are 10 years old, Toyota wasn't even making EVs, and their electrified vehicles weren't even using lithium-ion batteries in large quantities, as the company was still heavily reliant on the obsolete nickel-metal hydride batteries back then. Granted, those were only speculations by car journalists and magazines alike, and the news that we brought to you today has been officially confirmed by Toyota. But still, the issue remains, especially after their announcement that the projected release date of the solid-state batteries, which was first revealed to be 2025, was delayed. Akio messed up big time, there's no denying it. However, despite all the broken promises, false stories and hardships that the development of Toyota EVs endured, we still believe that the brand will actually deliver on its promises concerning the solid-state battery, mainly thanks to the constant efforts of Koji who, unlike his predecessor, is actually willing to electrify the brand. He announced that the company will shift their research and development teams to develop and perfect EVs instead of regular vehicles. In fact, all of this is backed up by his statement that, Toyota is already developing several brand new EVs, the most notable of which will be Toyota's first fully electric sports car. This innovation is designed to bridge the gap for driving purists who miss the tactile engagement and control of a traditional manual gearbox. Toyota understands that the driving experience is about more than just efficiency and silence. For many, it's about feeling connected to the machine. This system will reportedly simulate the feeling of a clutch pedal, and even the potential to stall the vehicle, all while operating within the safe parameters of the electric motor's capabilities. It is a bold move that no other major manufacturer has committed to, demonstrating Toyota's unique approach to attracting a specific segment of the market. In conclusion, while Toyota may have been a late entrant into the electric vehicle arena, their new strategy under CEO Koji Sato suggests they are not just playing catch-up, but are aiming to redefine the game entirely. With the promised dual development of advanced NCM and revolutionary solid-state batteries, a complete overhaul of their production philosophy, and unexpected features like a manual transmission for EVs, Toyota is betting on a comprehensive technological leap. The potential is enormous. If they successfully deliver on these promises, particularly the solid-state battery with its dramatically improved range and charging times, they could indeed pose a significant threat to established leaders like Tesla. The industry is watching closely. The challenge now is execution. After years of announcements and delays, Toyota must finally translate these ambitious prototypes into production-ready vehicles that customers can actually buy. If they succeed, the next few years will see a dramatic and exciting shift in the electric vehicle landscape. So yeah, even though they are still somewhat hesitant, we believe that Toyota won't mislead us this time, and we are actually excited to see the solid-state battery finally enter production. Oh, I'm also excited to announce a new confirmed feature that Toyota is developing for their upcoming electric vehicles that will interest car enthusiasts who were shunning EVs, and that of course is the manual transmission. Yes, you heard us right. You will be able to shift gears in your